Hi everybody, my name is Melanie Newman and this is Baby Sunny. Welcome to our grooming channel. In today's grooming session, I'm going to explain coat change in puppies. As a groomer, I get a lot of questions from clients that are concerned about their puppy's hair. And most are that their puppy's coat has changed color after their puppies had their first haircut or their puppy's coat is tangling and they can't control the knots. So today I'm going to share with you why and how to manage your puppy transitioning into their adult coat. Puppies are born with a soft single coat, which looks like fine hairs. This is referred to as puppy coat. From 12 to 16 weeks of age, your puppy's coat will begin to thicken and their skin and hair will continue to develop and transition into their adult coat. The transition from puppy coat to their adult coat can take up to two years of age. It can be longer depending on the breed of your puppy. During your puppy's coat change, their coat may change color and will often change texture. This is due to your puppy developing primary hairs, intermediate and secondary hairs. Primary hairs cover the entire surface of your dog's skin and protect the skin from the elements and environment. Primary hair is the largest and longest hair on your dog and this hair is usually harsher and thicker in texture and it's also known as a guard hairs. Primary hairs have a sebaceous gland and erectile pili muscles. These muscles make the hairs stand up, for example, if a dog is scared or alerted by something. Intermediate hair will provide thermal insulation. They will protect the primary hair and they are not found in silky coat type breeds such as Yorkshire Terriers. Secondary hair is the undercoat, a soft, short, dense hair that helps maintain temperature. Secondary hair will never have a sweat gland or an erector pillar muscle, but they can have single sebaceous glands the secondary hair will also protect the primary hairs. As your puppy's coat is transitioning and developing into their adult coat, your puppy's coat may become harder to manage and knots and tangles may begin to appear a lot faster. This is due to your puppy shedding their puppy coat and if the puppy coat is not removed correctly, as it sheds it will begin to tangle and form knots as a new adult coat begins to grow through. Brushing your dog with the correct grooming tools will help remove any unwanted puppy coat that will be causing any knots and tangles. If you do not brush and comb your puppy's coat and remove the loose puppy hairs, matting will occur and your groomer may have to clip your puppy's coat short as the knots and mats may be too severe to brush and the brushing may hurt and cause damage to your puppy's skin. When bathing your puppy, try not to bath your puppy with any tangles as these tangles may worsen as you shampoo your puppy and they will be harder to remove after the bath. Using a shampoo and conditioner that is formulated for your puppy's skin and coat will help loosen any puppy coat while strengthening the adult coat that is growing. It will also moisturize your puppy's skin as the skin can become very dry as they are developing their adult coat. I hope this video helps guide your puppy through their coat change and thank you Miss Sunny for being a part of our video. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below and we will definitely get back to you. And until next time, happy grooming.